everyone. Good day. I am very privileged to introduce to you one of our pastors, Mr. Muhammad. And he is an Egyptian. So he is one of the foreign clients of IPAS Processing. And today we will be talking about how he was able to to successfully pass his NCLEX. But first, let's go back to the very beginning. Sir Muhammad, how did you come to know or how did you learn about IPAS? Is there somebody who referred it to you? Hi, good day, everyone. Uh, thank you for Mom Rachel because she gave me the opportunity to share my experience regarding my NCLEX journey. First of all, thanks to God and thanks to IPAS and thanks to everyone who helped me to do this mission. <laughs> it was a really hard mission. Actually, in Egypt, taking the NCLEX or going to UK, it's not familiar. Not familiar for the students. It's familiar for us, but for the people who will process your papers or documents, it's really hard. So I tried to ask a lot. I tried to choose which, which destination I will go, like US, Canada, or Australia. Then finally, I decided to go to US. So I asked about the documents or the process way. My Filipino workmates, they helped me a lot. So I know actually about IPAS by uh, my colleague in uh, Dubai. Then I was in uh, Philippines in a tourist visit in 2020, 2020, I think so. So I decided to go there by myself to check how they do everything and after that I will decide. When I visited their office, you now I found it's like, uh, yes, they are really working hard. There is a section for everything, starting from the document, the processing, everything. That's how I decided to process my documents with them. Both of us, me and Ibas, they know, like we knew that like the challenges we will face because it's not in Egypt, it's not same like Philippines. You will just send someone to the college so they will give you the papers. No, it's, it was really, really hard. And uh, I passed people really, they <laughs> suffer with me. I think it took me almost more than one year to fill the application form, the form 2F and the 3F, mm -hmm. especially from the university. They totally refused to mm -hmm. fill this form. Mm -hmm. So like from like every other day or every week, we, I message with IPAS, messenger or emails regarding the requirements how to fill this blank, how to do like this. Uh, but finally, we did it. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so everything was completed by your university. And did you also have the difficulty of getting the verification of your license in your Egyptian license, nurse license? Uh, no, the verification was easy because mm -hmm. people in the Ministry of Health, uh, they know, they are familiar. Because mm -hmm. most of the doctors are doing the same. Mm -hmm. But I think for nurses, it was really difficult. But anyway, I am the one who fills the blank with the English because no one knows how to fill or no one how to write the English. They just sign and give the stamp. <laughs> yeah, so th that's really good that you were guided. Like, what do you need to put in there so that yeah. everything will be filled up and it will not cause any trouble with the evaluation of your documents in New York Board of Nursing? So yeah. after that, everything was already submitted. And then how long did you wait for your approval? I think uh, not more than six months. I submitted in the end of December. Mm -hmm. I, was also, I was also in vacation in Egypt. Actually, I, I was frying fish. <laughs> <laughs> when I received the email, I cannot believe because mm -hmm. I said I will just take, take the trial. But Mm -hmm. like inside my heart I feel like it will not work because you know here I uh, I'm the one who sent the documents because mm -hmm. if you waited for the university or for the ministry of health to send your documents this will happen only in your dreams they will never do so so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this actually also I, I get guided by I pass people to write the name of the messengers that like this mm -hmm. one sent by the university this one sent by the ministry of health Mm. But the stuff from the, I sent, I actually, I sent it through FedEx. So the stuff who came to pick up the documents, he did not understand that. So he writes the messenger all the university. Mm. So I thought it will not work because how come mm. the university sent the, like a BRO or the certificate and also the license. Mm -hmm. But Alhamdulillah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, everything went well. And then after six months, you were already approved for your application. Yeah. So the moment that you were frying a fish, what happened? I, I left the fish already burned, burned down. <laughs> <laughs> because of extreme joy that, oh my gosh, I was approved yeah. by New York Board of Nursing. <laughs> yeah. uh, you weren't really expecting. So 
during the time that you already received your approval, what was your decision by then? Like, how long should I prepare for my preparation on my NCLEX? What have you decided during the time? Yeah, once I received the email, I was guided also uh, from the IPAS that once I received the email, I should forward the email to them. When I forwarded the email, they replied to me like, whenever I am ready to take the inklex, I should inform them ahead like two months or one month so they can book for me the ATT. But also they recommended like if I'm not ready right now or if I'm still preparing, like to postpone the scheduling or the booking of the, the exam because the ATT, that time I think it was only three months. It, this mm-hmm. one was uh, 2021. Mm-hmm. So that time it was uh, three months only validity for the ATT. Mm-hmm. So they asked me not to take the decision to book the appointment, to book the exam, I mean, until I am the exam. And from time to time, they, they message me on Messenger or email, uh, Sir, are you, ready to, <laughs> are you ready to take the exam? I am not ready now. Once I am ready, I will, <laughs> I will message you. Uh, that time, actually, I was, I'm still confused also. Like, like, I'm trying to find out which source I will review how mm-hmm. I will start because it was almost eight years mm-hmm. away from nursing. I work in Dubai as a ambulance nurse. Mm-hmm. So it's more in ACLS, BLS, like it's like paramedic. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, away from the hospital sitting. Mm-hmm. So there is little bit difference. So I need to review again all of the nursing. So I'm like, I'm going to start from the beginning again. That's mm-hmm. why it took me time also to review. But mm-hmm. from time to time, they message me to ask when I will take my ATT until I was really already class prepared. So I message them that I am ready. And also we face a challenge again to book the exam mm-hmm. because I forgot that the time was, you know, the big Eid, the Eid uh, in, for Muslims. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, so, so it, it was almost uh, like a vacation or holiday in most countries. Also, because me, uh, I have also my workmate. We're supposed to have the exam together like this. So it was a little bit of a challenge to book the same day and same time and same center also because mm-hmm. the available, you know, the available slots are very limited. So with regard to the examination, where did you take your examination? We were planning to take the exam in UK, but uh, the issue was the tickets and the visa. So we decided to take to the nearest, we are in Dubai, so then my opinion was to take it in Philippines because I'm going to visit Philippines next month. Mm-hmm. So my plan was to take it in Philippines on August before my vacation, then I enjoy my vacation in Philippines. Mm-hmm. But my Filipino friend said no need to take in Philippines because there is one center only in Philippines and there are many, many nurses are going, you cannot find this slot. Mm-hmm. And actually that was not true. <laughs> because after that, we find out that there are many slots in Philippines. But anyway, it's, it's destiny. So we decided to take in India because India is just only four hours from Dubai. Mm-hmm. And the ticket is supposed to be cheap, but that was not true because mm-hmm. that time was holiday and mm-hmm. it was super expensive, not only expensive. Like if we say the tickets will cost 1,000 pesos, it cost 5,000 pesos. A lot, a lot. But it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> So we check the slots. We were we were about to take it in New Delhi as well. Mm-hmm. That's why I really caused headache to I pass people because I check in New Delhi, check in Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, like this. They check. So sometimes they cannot find the day. Sometimes they can find only one slot. Mm-hmm. So until I, until we decided to take it in Bengaluru, mm-hmm. Bengaluru in India. Yeah, yes. it, it was actually July, July eight. That was one day ahead of uh, Muslims holiday for the big Eid. Oh, I think that was also a lucky charm. That, because... <laughs> yeah. 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 You yeah. would believe probably that's a lot of plan for you to celebrate the holiday. I, a... I celebrated I celebrated in India. <laughs> so you enjoyed your short vacation in India? Yeah, I th- I took exam in the second day only. Mm-hmm. Then after that, we tour around Bangalore. With regard to your NCLEX experience, how can you differentiate taking the Dubai examination for the nurse compared with the NCLEX that you had taken? No comparison at all. Because I also I passed the HA. 
would like you I would like to inform you that I am for the DHA only one day mm. one day only it took me one day not not whole day maybe four or five hours to study the next day I went for the exam and I passed but for the NCLEX it took me like four months preparation and uh, <laughs> like the exam is not not difficult but needs 100 uh, percent concentration Mm -hmm. You need to concentrate well in everything, even in the words, in the questions, in the question mark, in everything. So how was your preparation for your NCLEX examination? Like, did you find it difficult or it was just easy? Or how did you manage since you were working? Yeah, my recommendation for everyone first to choose, like to determine his level, because mm -hmm. there is some people like uh, for let's say this fresh graduates they don't need to review much you can just uh, expose yourself to uh, like question answer like this it needs at least two months anyone needs at least two months to review so determine first which like what's your weak points what you need to review like which review material you will use you need first like a comprehensive review or you need a question answer like mm -hmm. you should first you determine which plan you will use. After that, because also I, I face in my work a problem because I work like 12 to 13 hours per day, but I'm lucky because I work four days, duty four days off. Wow. So most of my uh, review was during my days off. Mm -hmm. And uh, during also during the duty, I was doing so. Mm -hmm. During the duty, if I, if I have time. So that's how I managed. It was really like, it was really challenging because sometimes during night duty, I have review during morning then i finish review direct i go direct to duty after duty again i have review maybe two or three days no sleep at all i can say <laughs> that you are really committed that's what i can see in you and you're very diligent in doing <laughs> the preparation because as you mentioned you're working in a lot of hours and then yeah. even working you still find to study for this NCLEX. I will take my booklets or I will use my, my cell phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that paid off really. All the preparation that you had, uh, all the efforts that you had eventually paid off. And that's really because of your commitment to make it happen. I did not believe actually that I will able to do it one day, but Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, you made it. So how many items you got? 75. Wow. Do you know that at 75 items, it means to say that at the minimum level, the computer was already able to know that you are a safe nurse in an entry-level nursing in the USA. Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. But actually, I in the 74, I was praying, please do not shut down because I feel I did not do good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I was answering mistakes, mistakes. Then when it shut down at 75, I was really anxious until I received my result from IPAS. So what happened during the time that you received your exam result? What were you doing? Were you frying fish that time as well? No, so I actually, I asked my workmate because he has experience with IPAS before. So I told him, when you receive your result after the exam, he said three to four days. But uh, I, was, I was really anxious. I was really anxious. So I just messaged IPAS next day of the exam. So when I messaged him, uh, someone replied, uh, oh, like, okay, sir, noted, we will check. Then I went to the washroom. After the washroom, when I go outside, I found an email <laughs> from IPAS. I was really worried to open it. So I asked my friend to open and read for me. <laughs> then when he opened, like, I was really jumping of joy. <laughs> mm, yeah, the feeling is really incomparable right that's, that's true so after that you have already uh, seen your result what was your feeling during that time i was crying of joy because i already set a plan b because mm -hmm. i thought uh, i thought i will not do it mm -hmm. and i said i will i will like i will review like this again and i will do like this for two months and i will take my exam on uh, november that was my plan b already <laughs> <laughs> you already have your plan yeah i already have my plan so when i receive it i can everything uh, like uh, all these obstacles all the challenges already paid off like it was it i already did it i am a usrn already like I, I need to think for the next step it's really incomparable feeling yeah, yeah. and we are very very happy for you sir muhammad for yeah. achieving your goal so it was a long journey because we started 
prior to pandemic, right? Yes, maybe before the lockdown by three or four days. It was really a quite long time, but then everything paid off because of your commitment, because yes. of your patience, because of your diligence. So yeah, right. congratulations to you for becoming a U.S. Yeah, thank you so much. Also, like your help, really, like your support helped me a lot along the journey. And we still continue. We still have longer process as well yeah. <laughs> until I get to there. Yeah. So the next steps that you need to do is now we will be proceeding on your visa screen application. But yeah. one of the things that I can recommend is you first have to look for a recruitment agency. And then once you have found a certain recruitment agency, then they can advise you as to what uh, documents you need to comply because they're going to apply for your immigrant visa. So the yeah. first thing that they're going to uh, apply is the I-140 documents. And then yeah. they're going to advise you that you need to take the IELTS. Or it can be that you can also choose another English proficiency exam because for yeah. the screen application now, other English exams like PTE, OET, OET. yes, hmm. TOEFL, TOEIC are already accepted. So not only IELTS and TOEFL will be accepted, but other English exams can already be accepted starting yeah. August of 2022. So the hmm. first that you're going to do is to look for a recruitment agency and then they will advise you as to the next steps. Would you like to thank Mike for referring it to IPAS? <laughs> of course. Uh, like uh, thank you. Anyway, I will pay you a visit the next August, inshallah, in your office in Davao. Inshallah. <laughs> we will see uh, you then. When is your plan to visit? Uh, maybe August uh, 16 or 17, I will be in Davao. Ah, okay, our staff will be excited to see you because when you pass, they were saying, oh, our client already passed. <laughs> and they were informing me. Yes, you know, we'll take the same photo again. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the office, Sir Muhammad. I consider yeah. Davao as my second home because I stayed in Davao three months in 2020. Oh, I was locked down for three months. After I applied in your office, already lockdown started the time. I don't know that already lockdown started. So mm -hmm. I was hiking. I was hiking uh, Mount Apo. So there was no connection. There is no internet. So I don't know that there is already lockdown started. When I go down, <laughs> already lockdown. So I stayed in uh, like March, April, May, and I came back to UAE in June. Wow. You had a lot of time in Davao. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Sir Muhammad, I'd like to ask for some of your tips to our future NCLEX passers. If, mm. if you are in their shoes, like you have already taken your NCLEX. So what are your tips for them? First thing, you like from my point of view, it should companies that will help you. Like they are really expert in the processing of everything that will give you less headache because uh, the preparation of the NCLEX exam, I mean the study, it's really hard and you need to focus. Do not distract your mind by booking the exam. Like uh, they can say oh, no slots. It's really hassle for you if you are preparing for the exam. The second thing also is to choose which review material you will do because um, I have many colleagues. Mm -hmm. uh, some people, they take like Sanders, like your world, Mm -hmm. But if something works for the other, that doesn't mean that it will work for you. Yes. It shows that something that works for you. For you. Mm -hmm. And trust, trust God, the first thing. Trust in God, trust in yourself, pray always, claim it, and you will do it. Mm -hmm. And do not focus only on the, only on the material things. Just mm -hmm. only on, like, do what you have to do and pray. That's it. That's I'm it. very happy to know your tips for those future pastors. What struck me the most is that you were saying that you have to trust yourself, you have to believe in yourself, and also right. you have to trust the process to God. Because sometimes, yes. you know, there are uncontrollable things. For example, in your case, you went to Davo <laughs> and you were locked down for three months. <laughs> but you're processing, but then you were thinking, maybe I will not be approved by the board because of how yeah. I missed it. So... And during your examination, you're supposed to take in the Philippines and you went to India. So these are the things that might be unforeseen, 
the things yes. that you cannot control. So really trusting yourself first is really very important. And also trusting God and this process, trusting Allah for His grace yes. that He will provide to you this goal is really wow. very important. Thank you very much, Sir Muhammad, for yeah. your time. Um in giving us the opportunity to interview you. We are really very happy. We are very glad. And we feel very fortunate that we, we are part of your successful journey. It's my honor to be like uh, your, your customer and also like uh, that you helped me a lot. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And we are still family. Even when I will go to ES, still family also. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And would you like to greet Mike? Yeah, thank, thank you, Mike, for <laughs> for recommendation of IPAS <laughs> and helping me also uh, all the journey along the way of the journey. He helps me a lot. And he also passed the examination, right? Congratulations. Yeah, he passed uh, 78, 78 questions, I think so. Oh, wow. so congratulations to both of you for successfully passing your NCLEX. So looking right. forward on the next procedures that you will have. And if there's anything that we can help you with, you just inform us for anything that you'd like us to assist you as we go along. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Amber. you very much, Sir Muhammad. And we'll just inform our staff that we have already uh, talked and that you are visiting Davo office soon. And soon, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. Bye. Go on. Go on. Go on. Bye. <laughs>